So this is a good time, I guess, to remind ourselves about what an SN2 reaction is and how we um, actually are reading this, this um, nomenclature SN2. So you actually read it backwards. So you start with the 2, and the 2 stands for bimolecular. All right, so 2. Nucleophilic. Substitution. Okay, and then nucleophilic is the N, and the substitution is S. So S and P, like that. So um, if you see here, let's see if I can find a different color pen. That works, hopefully. Um, you've got, <clears throat> why is it called bimolecular? Because bi means two. Molecular, of course, means molecules, right? So when we're looking at the SN2 part of this reaction, we're looking at two molecules reacting with each other, okay? So this is one of those two molecules, and the other one is this. Okay, so you can see the reaction arrow here. They're reacting with each other. So since there's two molecules, we put this two here, okay? It's a nucleophilic substitution. Why? Because we've got this Br- minus being a nucleophile, okay? Nucleophile means I love nucleuses, right? So it's got a lot of negative charge and nucleus has a lot of positive charge, right? Especially this one, because if you think of this, you can think of this as like, well, this bromine carbon bond here is uh, very uh, polar, okay? So, like, the bromine actually is pulling a lot of electron density away, so it's making this carbon very po partial positive, okay? So, since this thing's negative and this thing's positive, it likes that thing, right? So, that's your nucleophile, okay, or your nucleophilic. And then substitution, it just means that you're substituting this bromine for that bromine there. So if we looked at it, right, we wanted to color code these bromines so we knew what we were talking about, showing the actual substitution reaction. So we'll be substituting the red bromine at that carbon for that brown bromine, right? So just draw that reaction arrow one more time. And this, of course, goes right along with the other SN2 reaction videos that you've watched. It's, this time it's just, you know, a step in an intermediate as opposed to the whole reaction being an SN2. So when we do that, of course, right, this is going to come from the backside. Remember, SN2 is like backside attack. So if this is pointing forward, right, it's got to come from the back side, okay? Because um, that's where the antibonding orbital is, okay? So um, when we do that, right, it's going to attack from the opposite side, so that's why it's pointed back. So let's just draw that BR. So notice that brown BR was substituted at that carbon atom for the red BR. But the brown BR is still attached to this other carbon because we didn't break that bond there. Okay. So if we wanted to do the same thing here, Let's just do it this way, so you can see the whole. So that's the whole of the SN2 reaction. Does that make sense? Do you have any questions on that one? No question? Sure, last chance.